Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP 15R series laptop. The exact model number will be in the description and in the title. I'm gonna show you how to get in, access your hard drive and your RAM if you wanna upgrade it or simply replace it. So first thing guys, unplug your computer, make sure it's powered off correctly. We're gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Okay, so to push the battery out, we're gonna unlock both these clips, push that one in. Push that one in. And the battery comes out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take out all my screws. I have three along the bottom. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws. So in addition to those 10 screw guys, you have two rubber feet up here and they have screws hidden underneath them. So I'm gonna take a small screwdriver and just gently pry up those rubber feet without breaking them. They're held on by double-sided tape so they will come up. And now I can get those two screws under there. After taking those out, I can take my pry tool and pop these quarter panels off because if I don't take them off now, I could break them when opening up the computer. The last thing I wanna do on the bottom case is your CD-ROM drive. That screw right there releases your CD-ROM drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that, slide that out. And there's actually two screws under there. Those are the last two screws for this side of the bottom case to take out. As a side note, guys, make sure you keep your screws separate. As you can see, those screws um, that came out of the CD-ROM area are small and flat. The ones that came out of here are, are longer. So make sure you keep your screws separate. Also, the screws that came out of this hole and this hole are longer than the screws that came out of these holes because those two screws go all the way down and screw in, into your keyboard. Um, so actually, I'll flip the computer over now and show you the keyboard because without taking apart the keyboard, we can't get into the computer. So I'm gonna take my small flat pry tool and go up top the keyboard and get it out from those clips. And that's what you're looking at for underneath that keyboard. Now to get that ribbon cable up, I'm just gonna go in with my pry tool, pop that up and take the keyboard ribbon out. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard and then you have this retainer clip over here, this clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side, and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful, take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath, and pop it up like that, and then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, you're most likely not gonna be able to find a replacement, um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore, so be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in, nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it getting it flush, and then just snap the retainer clip down and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. So after taking up your keyboard, there's a few more screws down here that we've got to take out. And then there's a couple more cables that I'm gonna take up because these are plugged into the motherboard. I'm gonna take that one up, this one up. And now I'm gonna take my small pry tool. I'm gonna to go around the palm rest all the way along the edge. Oop. I missed a screw right there. That's a thing, if you feel some resistance, guys, don't force it. You're definitely strong enough to break a laptop panel, but if you do feel some resistance, you may have missed a screw. So I'll just keep going across now. And that palm rest comes off like that. So this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. The hard drive is located right here and it's screwed in by a caddy that's screwed down there. So I'm gonna take up those two screws. After removing those screws, I'm gonna grab this pull tab right here and pull it sideways. That releases your hard drive, and the hard drive comes out. To actually take the hard drive out of the caddy, it's these two other screws on that side, 
and then you can install a new hard drive or solid state drive into that caddy and put it back. To get at your RAM, it's actually underneath the motherboard. Really horrible design. I'm glad most computers don't do this anymore. But to get at the RAM, we actually have to take up the motherboard. So I'm gonna unplug those speaker wires right there. Pull that out. Uh, I'm gonna take out this Wi-Fi card. And just pull it out of the plug like that. And then I'm gonna take up the LCD cable. Gonna peel up that sticker. Take my pry tool and push up on either side of the port until I get it out, like that. And then after everything's unplugged, I have a screw there. And there's one more right there. Okay, so now the motherboard, oop, there's actually a plug here, the power jack. So I'm gonna pull that, wiggle that right out of the port there. And then I'm going to flip it over and there's one more ribbon cable over here, but it's hard to get to it until I flip it over. So I'm going to take my pry tool, just like in the keyboard cable, pop that up, take that ribbon cable out to the USB board and put that back down. So there's your RAM. To get the RAM out, you would take these two spring-loaded arms on either side and gently pry them apart from each other. And the RAM releases, oftentimes it'll pop up like that. Then you can just pull it out like that. And that's how you get your RAM out of this computer. So that's the video guys. That's how you would access the hard drive and your RAM in this computer. Sorry the RAM was a little bit of a pain. I did not design the computer. Um, if you want any suggestions on upgrades for the RAM or hard drive, check out below in the description. Also above, it'll be a link to some suggestions for upgrades as well as all the replacement parts for this model and tools you need to get at them. Also, if you had any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or a comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.